Hey everyone, we're gonna continue with our note naming today, but today it will be the base clef edition. All right, a quick review before we begin. Reminder that our musical alphabet is made up the, of the first seven letters of the English alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. As we go forward in the alphabet, we go up in pitch. And the letters will just keep recycling back to A and so on and so forth. When we go backwards in the alphabet, we go down in pitch. So the alphabet will read backwards. And again, the letters just keep recycling over and over. Another review is that this symbol is our bass clef. We already know that. Its other name is the F clef because the dots go around the F line or are on the F line. All right, I'm gonna highlight that F line again just to remind ourselves. That first note we're gonna talk about is F. And if we go up from there, we should be able to figure out that the next pitch is G. And then the next pitch is A. Okay, we're gonna go back to F and now move backwards in the alphabet. We're gonna go backwards and down in pitch. So starting on F, then down to E, down to D, down to C, down to B, down to A, and finally the last line, or the first line I should say, G. All right. Here are the space notes on the bass clef. And we know them as A, C, E, and G, which makes sense because if this is F, one above F would be G, one below F would be E. And the acronym here that will help us is All Cows Eat Grass. All cows eat grass. A, C, E, G. All cows eat grass. If we were to deal with our line notes, this is how they would appear. I need to look on the staff. And again, if this is our F line, we know this must be F, right? Bottom line is G, B, C, D, excuse me, F, and A. The acronym that I like to use to remember this is Great Big Dragons Fly Around. That is it for today on this section, go ahead and work on the first assignment in Google Classroom and check in with me when you're done.